Hit and runners, road ragers, insurance scammers, bad luck, and a pinch of really good luck. Those are just some of the ingredients in this week's episode of Wham Bam Tesla Cam. Roll them! Watch what the driver of a Ford F-150 suddenly did while Sampath was driving his Tesla Model 3 in an express lane. The Ford driver didn't notice traffic was slowing down, and in an attempt to avoid rear-ending another Tesla in front of him, he launched into the express lane and right into Sampath's Model 3. Sampath had nowhere to go and was crushed between the pickup truck and the concrete barrier. Thankfully, he was able to regain control and stop safely. Sampath's wife, who was 17 weeks pregnant at the time, was sitting on the passenger side. Thankfully, the Tesla kept both her and their baby completely safe. A police officer was actually a short distance behind them and witnessed the wreck himself. He immediately determined the pickup driver was at fault and helped direct traffic and summon tow trucks to the scene. The Model 3 was deemed a total loss and Sampath immediately ordered a Tesla Model Y to replace it. William was driving his Tesla Model 3 on the Allen Road Expressway outside of Toronto when he suddenly saw headlights rapidly approaching in his rearview mirror. Suddenly, a 2023 Acura Integra drove straight into the back of William's Tesla. The car then took off, making this a hit and run. William stopped and pulled up his Tesla cam footage so he could provide the license plate number to the police. Sadly, the offender's license plate wasn't visible in the Tesla cam footage. But in a surprise twist, William also has an aftermarket dash cam installed. He immediately began combing through the footage. Unbelievably, that camera hadn't caught the license plate number either. Don't worry, we're not done with the twists yet. Another Tesla owner had witnessed the collision and pulled over to offer William his Tesla cam footage. The third time's the charm. William called the police with the license plate number and the driver was later caught. This story had more angles than Inception. William got an initial repair estimate of 9,000 US dollars, but the shop warned him it will probably go up after they inspect for structural damage. Mr. Neptune was driving his Model Y in Bakersfield, California, when the driver of a Toyota tried to cut him off. She ended up sideswiping the Tesla before losing control and hitting a Nissan pickup truck in the intersection, making this a three-car collision. An argument ensued about who was at fault. The woman driving the Toyota claimed that Mr. Neptune was speeding and that he had cut her off. The police quickly arrived at the scene of the collision and their investigation determined the Toyota driver was 100% responsible for causing the wreck. Mr. Neptune filed a claim with the Toyota driver's insurance provider and the total cost to repair his Tesla was 2,600 US dollars. That has to be the most reasonable repair estimate we've seen in a while. I wonder if I missed a zero. David was driving his Model 3 down a highway in Darien, Illinois. The rain was pouring down and David confessed he was driving a little faster than he should have been given the condition of his tires. Suddenly, he lost control of the car and it spun a full 360 degrees. But David was able to regain control with no damage or further traffic disturbance. He sure gave the other drivers a show. David told us he immediately got new tires after this, setting him back 1500 US dollars for a full set. He actually sent us his own recorded commentary for this incident, so let's listen into what he has to say about it. And all of it. Let's go. Francois is a French citizen who just arrived in Belgium to visit some friends. Watch what happened three minutes after they left his Model 3 parked on the streets of Brussels. Sentry mode was triggered by two men walking close to the Tesla and they passed a family with a baby in a stroller. So far, everything seems normal. As soon as the family with the stroller walked by, the two men returned to the Tesla and started showing serious interest in its interior. One guy took a good long look through the rear passenger window, then they both walked off. A little while later, they returned. Maybe they thought this was the new Project Highland Model 3 and wanted to see if it had the new ventilated seats. One of the men walked up to the Tesla and threw something at the quarter window, shattering it. We're not sure what the object was. Was it some sort of metal ball? It looks like he caught it again after the window broke. 
Once the quarter window had broken, he folded the back seats down only to discover the trunk was empty. The two burglars left Francois with a broken window and a hefty repair bill. Francois got a notification that his alarm had been triggered and he discovered why pretty quickly after returning to his car. He filed a police report and an insurance claim and his repair bill came in at 450 euros, about 475 US dollars. Here comes another video from Belgium, and this one doubles as a public service announcement. Remember to look both ways before crossing the street. Phew, that was close. Also, doesn't that guy look like Elon Musk? Speaking of looking both ways, here's a driver who apparently wasn't looking at all. A Kia driver came speeding into an intersection and plowed straight into the back of a stopped car. The driver of the white Kia fled shortly after. Kay tried calling the police, but couldn't get through. Way to go, LA. Hopefully someone finds this video helpful. Whitney was driving through Pachico Pass on a California highway. Watch what happened while he was looking over his shoulder during a lane change. When he looked forward again, there was a large piece of metal directly in the path of his right tires, and he wasn't able to react in time to avoid hitting it. He heard a loud bang, and the car even seemed to lift into the air. The center screen lit up with multiple warnings, indicating low tire pressure and that he should pull over immediately. Thankfully, Whitney was able to maintain control of the Model Y and managed to find a spot to pull off the road. After he pulled over, he contacted Tesla roadside assistance and they towed the car to a service center in Gilroy. Both right tires and rims were damaged and replaced the same day for a total of 3,200 US dollars. As for the damaged trim, he has to wait for a service appointment to have that fixed. Steven had left his Model 3 parked at Disneyland in Anaheim, California, when sentry mode was activated by a Chevrolet pulling into the adjacent parking spot. When the passenger in the back seat got out, she ran her door into Steven's Tesla, digging a scratch into it so deep that bare metal was exposed. We know that she knew she'd scratched the Tesla because she felt the door of the Chevy to see if it was damaged. Next, it's clear that she noticed the Tesla's cameras watching her every move. She also noticed the warning on the screen informing her that the cameras were rolling, but instead of leaving a note, the occupants of the Chevy just moved the car to a different place in the parking lot. Of course, we know the Tesla also has a camera in the back. When Steven returned to his car and discovered the damage, it was easy for him to find out who'd caused it. Sadly, the perpetrator had already left by the time he'd returned, but Steven told us he'll be filing a claim with their insurance provider to get the damage repaired once he figures out which state their license plate is from. Alex was driving in Portland, Oregon when a tow truck rear-ended a car already being towed by another tow truck. The really bizarre part of this story is that neither one of them stopped. They didn't even stop to make sure the car that had been hit was still properly attached to the truck. At the next red light, they pulled up next to each other as if to say, Good day to you, sir. And how is the towing business going for you on this fine day? Why, swimmingly, of course. One truck turned right and they parted ways. Alex almost couldn't believe his eyes. Jason honked his horn at someone who wasn't paying attention after their red light turned green. Jason told us he thinks the other driver was texting. After Jason honked, the Kia driver crawled through the intersection. This annoyed Jason, so he passed the Kia after the turn, but then the Kia driver proceeded to chase after him across the bridge. When the Kia driver finally caught up and was driving next to the Tesla, Jason told us he flashed a sheriff's badge at him. Sadly, it wasn't captured by his Tesla cam, so Jason doesn't have video evidence of this happening. He does have video evidence of what happened next. The Kia driver intentionally swerved toward him in an attempt to push Jason's car into the wall of the bridge. Jason immediately contacted the police and they told him to make a report. A few weeks after filing the paperwork and submitting his video evidence, he got a copy of the report that was generated. Jason told us the report states the other driver was a Clark County Sheriff's deputy. 
He admitted to flashing his badge while outside of his jurisdiction, and he claimed he was trying to get Jason to stop driving aggressively. Jason also told us the investigation was mysteriously closed, and Jason's claims were labeled unfounded. Jason said he was informed he could submit a complaint with the Clark County Commissioner's Office, but he has no faith that anything will be done after they've already let the deputy off the hook in spite of the video evidence. Jonathan was using the full self-driving beta, and he wanted to clarify that this was a city road. And our viewers should know there are no passing lanes in the city. People are free to drive in whichever lane they want. He had a left turn coming up, so full self-driving kept to the left lane while traffic kept passing him on the right. One pickup driver didn't approve of how full self-driving was doing and came up fast behind the Tesla before passing it on the right, then swerving over and almost sideswiping the Tesla. To top it off, he left Jonathan with a little coal fart. <laughs> Ganu was driving when a car suddenly merged into his lane. Ganu says the Tesla didn't make any evasive maneuver on its own, so he slammed on the brakes and swerved to the left. Ganu told us the car handled really well and he could hear the anti-lock brakes kick in to prevent any skidding. Remember Jacob's mom from Tesla Cam Stories episode 81? She was the one who threw Jacob an epic wham bam Tesla Cam birthday by renting a Tesla on Turo. Well, she finally got her own Tesla Model 3. Now, as she puts it, she can make a proper submission to our channel. They were driving home from church one Sunday evening when they witnessed this wreck. She thinks the sun might have been blinding the SUV driver. She texted the video to the driver of the Subaru and she was appreciative. Damo was driving in New Zealand when a driver pulled out of a shopping mall parking lot right as Damo was passing it. Damo had to swerve to avoid hitting them, but the other driver then matched Damo's maneuver. Damo didn't know if this was an attempt to cause a collision. When Damo honked, the other driver started backing up. Damo thought this might have been an insurance fraud attempt or the other driver was trying to be intimidating. Damo decided to hold down the horn for a good minute, drawing the attention of numerous bystanders and shoppers from nearby stores. Sadly, the video recording cut, which is why we have this phone recording instead. As soon as Damo let off the horn to call the police, the driver fled, making a right turn from a left turn lane. Damo still called the police to report the incident and even visited a police station to make a formal report in person. The police told Damo they would pay the other driver a visit at home. Jacob witnessed a minivan driver rear-end a BMW, and even though the BMW driver wasn't at fault, the driver just took off. The minivan driver hopped right out, obviously not hurt. Police responded, but they showed no interest in Jacob's Tesla cam footage since the BMW's license plate wasn't readable. Jacob wonders if someone watching this video might recognize the heavily modified BMW. He noted that it had some special rims that might stand out to someone who has seen them before. If you're easily traumatized by the thought of damaged rims and curb rash, you should probably avert your eyes because this story gets really bad. It starts out in the worst possible way as Will had just gotten a set of brand new rims for his Model X the day before this video was captured. Will had just dropped his sister off. When he turned left onto a main road, the Kia driver in front of him merged into his lane just as Will was about to pass them. Will had no choice but to steer toward the curb, and we can only imagine the horrific sound it made when the rim hit. In the end, there wasn't much left of the rim. Honestly, we're not really sure who's at fault in this scenario. The Kia driver took the left lane after the turn, but Will went into the right lane. Should Will have turned into the left lane, leaving the right lane free for the Kia driver to merge into? Either way, the Kia driver should have checked before merging. Post your driving advice in the comments. Speaking of damage to things that are brand new, Tina had parked her one-week-old Model Y outside of a store when it was attacked by the cart demon. Tina talked to the store manager who immediately checked the store's security cams and discovered that a customer hadn't put her cart away properly and it had escaped from the corral. Tina was able to file a claim with the store's insurance provider. She sent them her videos and photos of the damage and she's currently waiting to hear back from them. That's a good tip for everyone who's targeted by the cart demon. If you make a claim with the store's insurance provider, you won't have to pay a deductible. Derek and Amber were heading home after celebrating their anniversary when they encountered a guy just sitting in the middle of the road. Hey, hon. 
look, there's a bunny on the road. You guys can tell that isn't my voice, right? You're hearing Derek, who recorded this little commentary himself. Thinking, well, maybe the car coming near him again will get him to move. And then it became a wham-bam moment when we went ahead and honked the horn and he decided to move. This submitter had parked his Model X at the far end of a parking lot when sentry mode was triggered by a Ford Fusion that fused with a light pole. Thankfully, the pole fell away from the Tesla. Now check this out. In a Ford Fusion, sleek and wide, a driver went for a wild ride. They swerved round a bend and their luck came to an end as a light pole took down their pride. Can you come up with a better limerick? Post it in the comments. Wham, bam, Tesla cam, I hope you're satisfied.